I frequently receive uh, emails or phone calls from patients saying, I have chronic kidney disease. My doctor tells me that I'll need a transplant or will go on dialysis within a year or two years or six months. And they ask me what stem cell treatments I can recommend to them to treat this kidney disease. Indeed, many of these patients are desperate because they don't want to go on dialysis and they want to maintain their independence and their health. So this is a very reasonable uh, desire and a reasonable question to ask. But there are significant problems with advertisements that many of these patients come across on the internet. Websites that proclaim remarkable stem cell based therapies for kidney disease with testimonials from patients who feel that they have benefited from these therapies. But I really feel that a significant amount of caution is required when considering these experimental and unproven therapies. First of all, uh, there are relatively few stem cell therapies that are well accepted and approved worldwide right now. Uh, these are ones that many people are already familiar with. The best example, of course, is bone marrow transplantation, an extraordinarily successful endeavor that has improved the lives of millions and millions of people. There are some other stem cell therapies that are widely accepted, including grafting treatments for bone or skin diseases or even cornea. But currently, that's about it. And despite this fact, uh, these uh, clinics and websites, often located outside of the United States, uh, advertise that their stem cell injection or therapy might treat kidney disease, or it might treat arthritis, or it might treat cardiac disease, or other uh, types of diseases, all with this one therapy. And I think that common sense would dictate that one single uh, stem cell therapy is probably not going to treat all of these disparate different types of diseases which all have a different pathogenesis. And I think it's also important to remember that patients may believe that they have benefited from a stem cell therapy, but the placebo effect is a very powerful scientifically proven entity. And if patients come into contact or even have a positive discussion with a physician, uh, they have improved sense of well-being that they may interpret as a positive effect of a stem cell therapy. Moreover, there are very real dangers and risks to these uh, clinics, not only financial, and most of them only take cash, but also health. Uh, there are well-publicized reports of some patients developing tumors uh, or immune reactions to some of these suspensions. And so this is not a, a neutral thing where patients m may feel that they have nothing to lose, but their health actually could deteriorate as a consequence. What I recommend is that patients visit a very uh, well-organized website put on by the International Society for Stem Cell Research be ca called uh, 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 Stem Cell Tourism and Frequently Asked Questions for Patients considering stem cell therapies. And this site provides a great deal of balanced information for patients considering these therapies, which in general, I believe, are not ready for prime time. And I, I discourage patients from pursuing them at this point in time. None of this is to say that we won't come up with new regenerative therapies and stem cell treatments for kidney disease at some point in the future. Indeed, that's what we are all working intensively to achieve. And uh, we're making strong progress.